Good morning, everyone, and uh, happy Friday to you. Trust everyone's had a good week. Um, welcome to our morning devotion and prayer time. We are in Luke chapter 21, wrapping up the uh, section where Jesus is talking about future events, um, his relating to his death, burial, and resurrection, <clears throat> and also to uh, his second coming and the conclusion of time as we know it. Um, Luke chapter 21, verse 25, Jesus continues by saying, and there will be strange signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And here on earth, the nations will be in turmoil, perplexed by roaring seas and strange tides. People will be terrified at what they see coming on the earth, for the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then everyone will see the Son of Man coming on a cloud with power and great glory. So when all these things begin to happen, stand and look up for your salvation is near. Then he gave them this illustration. Notice the fig tree or any other tree. When the leaves come out, you know without being told that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things taking place, you can know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you the truth, this generation will not pass from the scene until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. Watch out. Don't let your hearts be dulled by carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day catch you unaware like a trap, for that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. Every day Jesus went to the temple to teach, and each evening he returned to spend the night on the Mount of Olives. The crowds gathered at the temple early each morning to hear him. And so Jesus wraps up this teaching <clears throat> with a warning. And his warning is very simple. And the warning to those that would be listening to him during that time and those who would read these words today are very um, basic, very simple very easy to understand. Um, there's really no confusion. And, and those words and that warning were simply this, be ready. Be ready. Um, don't let these things take you, catch you off guard, off guard and catch you unaware because I've told you that these things must take place and they will take place before the end is near. But you get the underlying um, feeling and impression that as Jesus was teaching all of these things, um, he, you could just sense in his words that um, he was saying, don't be afraid, be ready. Don't be fearful. Be ready. Um, and and don't don't uh, focus solely on these things that I'm talking about because there's so much more to do. I think it's interesting <clears throat> that in verse 33, in the middle of this section, Jesus says, "Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear." What does that tell us? That tells us that. These events that are going to take place, that should not be our focus. Our focus is on the word of God. Our focus is on what Jesus said. Um, and, and he said, keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. He was saying, be ready, be prepared spiritually for what is going to take place. How do we do that? Well, he just answered that in verse 33. When he said that everything will pass away, but my word will not pass away. Stay focused on the word of God. Stay intentional about the word of God. Um, it's interesting to me that that uh, people who um, criticize um, those who are followers of Jesus and and complain about the things that we we say Jesus said. Many of them have never even opened a Bible to read it. And sadly, 
in many cases, a lot of Christians never open their Bible to read it. Let us today stay focused on the Word of God. There is life in the Word of God, and as Jesus said, His Word will never pass away. Hang on to the Word of God. There is life and there is truth to be found there. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for another day of life. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that we have through you, through your sacrifice and your atoning work on the cross. We thank you for that. Um, help us today to be focused on your word, to not be fearful about the things that may or may not happen, but to be focused on the word of God, because truly there is life in your word and there's truth and we can find hope and peace and comfort through your word. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, as, uh, as is often said, TGIF, but as John Livingston all, often reminds us, TGIF stands for today, God is first. Go out there and make this Friday the day that God is first in your life. Until tomorrow morning, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care.